Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. We'll be continuing the deep learning playlist and this is basically my tutorial 20th where I'll be discussing about convolution neural network. In my previous video, I've already discussed about artificial neural network and we saw that how we could solve various regression and classification problem statements, right? Regression and classification problem statement. And I had also shown you an example how you can basically uh, run that particular file that is an ANN project in Google Colab also. Now remember that whenever your inputs are in the form of images and in the form of video frames at that time you should prefer using convolution neural network and with the help of convolution neural network you will be able to do a lot of things like object detection, face classification, object classification, object recognition and many more things. You know so today's class will be mainly focusing about convolution neural network but before understanding what is exactly convolution neural network and how do it work, we're basically going to see that how the image recognition is basically happening with respect to our human brain. We'll try to understand that first. In our human brain, in the back part of our head, right over here, in this particular region, we basically have something called as cerebral cortex. And you know that human brain is basically divided into four parts. And one of the part is basically called as cerebral cortex. Inside this, you have something called as primary visual cortex. Sorry, it should not be primary. It is just visual cortex. So you basically have something called as visual cortex, which is basically responsible for seeing the images. So remember guys, suppose I'm seeing a cat, right? That information passes through my sensory organs, that is eyes. Once it passes, it passes through various neurons and then it reaches this particular region where there is something called as visual cortex. In visual cortex also, you have multiple layers. Okay, you have layers like V1, you have layers like V2, V3, V4, V5 and V6. I've just defined in this way. So what will happen is that this layers play a very, very important role. Now, how it plays a very important role, I'll just try to explain you. Now, suppose consider that V1 layer is basically responsible for finding the edges of that particular image. Now, let me see. Suppose I'm seeing a cat. I want to find out the edges of the cat, like his ear edges, his eyes edges and all. So those all information will be passed, will be mostly calculated by this V1 layer. I'm just taking as an example. It need not be precise, but I'm trying to say you that this layer will be responsible for determining some information from that images. Okay. And after that it passes, right? Then it goes to the next layer. It goes to the V2 layer. Now this information, what we have passed to the V2 layer, some more information will be done, will be gathered from this layer also. So that basically means that it will try to determine whether the object is moving. Okay. And uh, apart from that object, is there any other object along with that? Suppose there is a cat and a dog. If there are two objects, is it able to determine that two particular objects? So multiple objects can be determined. Again, I'm saying you guys, these are just examples what I'm telling you. But the main thing that you need to understand is that each and every layer does some does some kind of operation where you are extracting some information from that images or from that video frames. Okay. And finally, you'll be seeing that after, suppose uh, in V2 layer, something happens, right? Similarly, from V1 to V4, V5, this all information also gets passed. V2 to V3, right? So when this information is getting passed, each and every layer will be responsible for doing some other kind of operations. Now, what are the specific operations uh, that I'll just discuss when we'll be discussing about CNN in my next class, uh, where specifically in CNN, you call it as filters. Okay. Now each and every filter is responsible for, uh, suppose one filter is responsible for finding the edges. One response, one filter may be responsible for finding the face uh, shape. So all those kind of stuff over here. V4 layer is specifically used for seeing the fa uh, face image. So basically to recognize the face image. This particular layer is very, very uh, important. Why I'm specifically doing the saying that V4? Because this, this layer actually does that particular work. So if you go and see, uh, read in Wikipedia about uh, visual cortex, you'll be getting this all kind of layers. And this all information will also get passed over here also. So like from V1, the information may get passed to V6. It may get passed to V5. From V2, it may go to V5. So each and every layer is basically responsible for finding some of the information. Okay. Now, once all this thing is done, finally our image gets, you know, imagined away, it gets created over here 
and hence we are able to visualize and say that okay this is a cat this is a dog but just understand that as soon as the information is passed from our eyes right and this particular information is getting passed through our sensory organs and then it will pass through all these particular layers where there are little little bit of, bit of information that is getting extracted and finally we are basically able to see that uh, because it is basically getting created over here so i'm not able to show you how but just understand the information going through the eyes getting processed through various rays and finally we are able to see the particular image right now this is how a human brain basically how a uh, image is getting basically visualized by a human brain with with the help of this visual cortex and cerebral cortex which is present exactly over here now in my next video what i'll be discussing is that how we can implement this v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 layer and how we can basically implement it in terms of cnn so that a machine will also be able to recognize this particular images let it be face recognition let it be object detection let it be uh, uh, when the object is actually moving it should be able to detect right so we'll try to see that particular thing how we can basically implement a cnn and the first operation which will be in the next video is something called as convolution we'll try to understand convolution and these are layers i will actually call it as filters over there okay so uh, just wait for some more time uh, i'll be uploading a video soon for this particular uh, which will be my 21st tutorial to understand how that convolution basically works so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe the channel if you have not already subscribed share with all your friends i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one and all